As some of you may have heard, Trump was just convicted in a court in New York, and this is all over the news. This is a big deal. Now you may be wondering, well, what does this have to do with Christianity? What does this have to do with the Bible? It actually has a lot to do with the Bible, and today we're going to break down in detail why this Trump conviction is a divine sign from God that he is judging America by handing America over to political tyranny. But before we get into the biblical breakdown of why this is all happening, let's get into the intro. What's going on, guys? It's Big Nick back for another video. Thank you guys so much for coming back to the channel today. Before we get into today's video, if you guys like Christian content, please give this video a like, subscribe to my channel down below if you are new, and turn on my post notifications so you never miss a new video. Without further ado, let's get into it. Former President Donald Trump has just been convicted of 34 counts of supposedly falsifying business records, and the spiritual agenda behind this trial is more biblical than you think. Donald Trump has been a political opponent against the satanic deep state shadow government that has been destroying America from within since he ran for president in 2016. As you can see, our country has been clearly under attack with our economy, our border crisis, as well as the decaying morality of the nation that's a result of abandoning the principles of the Bible. Now you may be wondering, why is this Donald Trump trial so biblically significant and what is God trying to tell us? For those who have discernment, we can clearly see that this trial is a complete perversion of the justice system here in America and has opened the portal for demonic tyranny to plague the nation. Regardless if you're a Democrat or a Republican, that is not the issue at hand. Although I identify as a conservative, both the Democratic and the Republican Party have abandoned God completely. So let me make this clear. This is not a right-wing video or a pro-Trump video. This is a pro-God video explaining to you what's going on from a spiritual lens. This trial was rigged from the beginning, where radical leftist juries and prosecutors were appointed to convict him in a radical leftist state that has heavy bias against conservatives. Many legal experts have even been on record to call this trial disgraceful, and not even a trial, but more so a political attack at the hands of the opposing party. Trump was taken to trial for an affair that he had back in 2006 where he ended up paying hush money to an adult film star to keep quiet about their relationship about a decade later when she started making commotion about it before he ran for president. Now, ethically speaking, paying someone to be quiet about your adulterous affair is a sin, but legally speaking, here in America, it is not worthy of a conviction to be a registered felon because of it. The trial claims that he falsified business records during this transaction of paying this woman off to be quiet about the affair, but anyone who paid close attention to this case knows that that's just a complete lie. This phony trial here in America is a bigger deal than you realize because for the first time in American history we have witnessed a communist style takedown of a political opponent in a country that used to be known as the land of the free. This act of injustice is brewing tensions for a civil war here in America and this is a direct response from God that we are being judged for abandoning our covenant that we made with him. Tensions are more high than ever with the left and the right being very divided but this is very similar to the Old Testament documentation of the kingdom of Israel. Israel. When we look at the Bible, we see division leading to civil wars as a direct response from God indicating his judgment due to the disobedience of his commands. The kingdom of Israel was established by God as a result of his promise to the people that he would lead them out of slavery in Egypt to the promised land with an intention that Israel would be a holy nation that would represent God's goodness and love to other countries around it. For this nation to experience harmony, God established a covenant by giving the Ten Commandments to Moses on Mount Sinai. The first two commandments set the boundaries for God's relationship with Israel. He states in Exodus 21 through 3, you shall have no other gods before me and you shall make no idols. God gave many opportunities to be faithful, but the Israelites continued to disobey for over 40 years until they finally reached the promised land. Once they entered the promised land, they wanted an earthly king rather than God to be their king, which he allowed in 1 Samuel 8 21 with the word that he spoke to Samuel the prophet. God appointed King Saul who ended up failing to obey God and ended up being a very wicked king in the end. So instead, God removed King Saul and appointed King David, who was a man after God's heart. After David's reign, God appointed David's son, Solomon, to be king over Israel, who God greatly loved and even appeared to Solomon in a dream, promising to give him wisdom as well as wealth and honor, which Solomon did not ask for. Solomon was the wisest king to ever live, but even with all of the blessings that he received, he still turned his back on God. He ended up abandoning the laws of God and straying away from the covenant and built altars for other gods to worship them at the request of his 
his 300 wives and his 700 concubines. This even led to child sacrifice, which God said he greatly hates in Deuteronomy 12, 31. The abominable acts of abandoning God and worshiping other idols is what led the kingdom of Israel to be split into two. The Lord appeared to Solomon in 1 Kings 11, 11 to 12, saying this, Therefore the Lord said to Solomon, Since this has been your practice and you have not kept my covenant and my statutes that I have commanded you, I will surely tear the kingdom from you and will give it to your servant. Yet for the sake of David your father, I will not do it in your days, but I will tear it out of the hand of your son. The kingdom was then split in the northern kingdom of Israel and the southern kingdom of Judah. The reason this history is so significant to America is because we are on the verge of this nation splitting into two kingdoms as well. The kingdom of leftist Marxists and the kingdom of biblical conservatives. And this is because America has broken their covenant with God that they established in 1607. In 1607, an expedition to America was led by Pastor Robert Hunt, which led them to the shores of Virginia Beach. When they arrived to America, they dedicated the foundation of our country to Jesus. They planted a rough-hewn wooden cross which they brought from England and prayed this, We do hereby dedicate this land and ourselves to reach the people within these shores with the gospel of Jesus Christ, and to raise up godly generations after us, and with these generations take the kingdom of God to all the earth. May this covenant of dedication remain to all generations, as long as this earth remains, and may this land, along with England, be evangelist to the world. May all who see this cross remember what we have done here, and may those who come here to inhabit join us in this covenant, and in this most noble work that the holy scriptures may be fulfilled. Just like Israel was founded off of a covenant with the God of the Bible, America was founded in the same way. For the longest time, America has been the land of the free where God's righteousness was upheld. God takes covenants very serious, and the America that we see today is a visual representation of that covenant being broken which was established in 1607. America now worships many idols, including money, sex, gluttony, virtually every single sin that is reprehensible in the eyes of God. And because of this, we do not have justice in this nation anymore. And the Trump trial, which is clearly political persecution, is a representation of the ancient demonic spirit that is in our world leaders in America that possess the satanic dictators, such as Mao Zedong, Joseph Stalin, and Adolf Hitler, who also took measures to imprison any political opponent that was a threat to the regime, in the same way that the Biden administration is doing now. It's not about Republican or Democrat. This is about communism, and it's happening. The reason this ancient demon that fueled communism has now been given legal right over our nation is because God has been kicked out and replaced with many other false gods. This is why this corrupt trial against Trump is bigger than just a political figure, but it's the spiritual representation of disobeying God which leads a country into tyranny. The 33rd president of the United States explained it best when Harry Truman was quoted saying this, The fundamental basis of this nation's laws was given to Moses on the mount. If we don't have a proper fundamental moral background, we will finally end up with a totalitarian government which does not believe in rights for anybody except the state. It's chilling to think that this quote from almost a hundred years ago is coming to fruition with this Trump trial and once again shows us that the tyranny of the kingdom of the leftist Marxist movement that's happening here in America is a response to abandoning God. It is not Trump that they're after, but it is the freedom of Americans and eventually Christians that they wish to destroy. Trump is merely their poster child for the Antichrist hatred that they wish to impose on everyone who doesn't submit to their demonic agenda. And they've proven that they will go to immense measures to carry out their diabolical plan, including composing a kangaroo court on a former president who won't submit to their demonic agenda. This is why we need to return back to Jesus Christ as American citizens and return back to the covenant that we made with him. The reason that I made this video is not to be a political commentator, but to show you the clear dangers that we face as a country if we continue to abandon God and worship other gods. And by worshiping other gods, that can mean anything. Basically worshiping sin, which is what this country does. Now more than ever, we have to preach the good news about Jesus. Because if we continue to stray away from him, our country will lead down a slippery slope of division, chaos, and tyranny that the kingdom of Israel also faced in the Old Testament before they were split into two, which was a result of abandoning God and abandoning the covenant that God made with them. If you're expecting revival here in America, I want you to comment down below, America needs Jesus. If you guys want to financially sow into the ministry, I have just launched a new membership program here on YouTube where you can partner with me monthly and receive certain perks and benefits. Those perks include being able to watch videos early, being able to have a loyalty badge next to your name when you comment on the video, being able to get discounted merch. So make sure to go check out my membership program here on the channel to see what perks you can apply for when you sow into this ministry. You can also get my merch that I drop, which is linked in the description as well. Whatever you do to support, it means a lot to me. I'll see you guys very soon for another video. I love you guys so much. May God bless all of you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Take care and peace out. There's only one
unworthy to sit on the throne Can't wait till he calls me to get out this world and I'll finally be on my own You see I'm a menace to hell, I'm aware that my name is extremely well known The Lord and his angels are always around me, I know that I'm never alone Walking with God, yeah, my sin's been atoned Better not play around with me, could Jesus Christ call me and maybe his own Had to repent on my knees for things in the past I no longer condone the spirit be giving me peace Always be walking around with Shalom The work of the cross was a mercy show So I'm gonna be walking on the narrow